loves a satisfying conclusion. In storytelling basics, they teach you that there are three parts of a three-act story structure. Makes good enough sense. The beginning, also known as the hook, which usually contains the driving point for most to continue watching the show or the said movie play out. We have the middle, where a big reveal happens or a world-changing event shifts the tides of the theoretical playing field of the story. And then there's the ending, which wraps up the entire story with a nice little bow, concluding character arcs, story beats, plot holes, and depending on the story, presents new possibilities for the fictional world to go into even after the ending credits roll. Even when everyone knows that these are the basics to telling a three-act story, which I'd argue most stories that we've seen nowadays are, for some reason a good or a bad ending in social circles can make or break the quality of a series. Take Game of Thrones for instance, which was on top of the pop culture world for the better part of a decade, but in one month in 2019, it went from one of the greatest pieces of art ever made to the biggest waste of time in human history. I'm ghost riding the whip, crazy town. So what is it about endings to a story that in social circles can either make or break an entire show, an entire series, a book, a movie, whatever form of media we're in? What is it that's intrinsic to this that is so meaningful to us? The simple answer that came from just about everyone that I asked this question beforehand is that an ending gives proper conclusivity to a story or a group of characters who you've been able to bond with and learn from and do whatever with, and it puts a nice bow on a story that you've been able to follow into a naturally progressed conclusion. And this answer is right. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. Hope you guys have a good day and thank you for watching. But there's gotta be more to this than just some innate thirst for finality of fiction from us as humans. So today I'm gonna try something different. In most of my videos, I try to keep the stats and facts a little bit low on the research end just to keep the dialogue as an open discussion between me and you guys either on Twitter or in the comment section. Make sure to leave a comment on this video and tell me how you feel, why you think endings matter, and hit me up on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. But with this opinion piece that I like to call a video, I truly want to get down to the bottom of why do endings matter. I just finished watching my share of the Fate franchise, and if you don't know what Fate is, good, because you don't want to know. And when I was trying to decide what to watch next to continue the story of Reen or Shiro, who are the main two characters of the Fate Stay Night universe, I guess, I was bombarded by a bunch of bullshit, basically alerting me to the fact that I couldn't continue the story of these two specific characters that I'd gotten attached to. Even though the story of the Fifth Holy Grail War was over, I still knew there were more to these characters' lives that I wanted to see. Their budding romance, their future careers, how they would integrate into the existing magical structure of the world, and how they would grow as people. And knowing that there was more to the Fate franchise, but not specifically this iteration of these characters, kind of left an open spot for my care for this series. This is because of something called NFC. No, not, not, not that one, or that one, god damn it. Need for closure is an aspect of social psychology that refers to an individual's strive for clear and concrete resolutions to situations in general. The type of closure and also level is desired is different for each person, of course, but generally as people, we tend to want inherent closure as opposed to dealing with uncertainty more often than not. So when we pick up a series that we know has multiple parts, seasons, or that has a continuation in the manga, the part that drives some people to pick up the book and just continue the story or to keep watching is that innate desire that we have to see things through till the finish. It's the same feeling that we feel when you pause a movie and leave for a few minutes or when this YouTube video starts to buffer. It's an inclination to go out and continue what you started, to find out how far the story goes and to find that deep, satisfying closure. But that's not always the case. There are some stories whose ending doesn't correspond with the finality of character arcs or story plot lines. Hell, in Naruto, Naruto's character arc is completed versus pain. Kaguya is sealed 40 episodes before the end, and the Naruto Sasuke fight has four more chapters afterwards. So it can't be as simple as wrapping up all loose ends in the story. So what the fuck is the difference between concluding an end to a story and creating a satisfying end for the viewer? 
When we consume stories, there's a lot of bullshit that goes into why we watch what we watch, why we do what we do, and why we like what we like. And I touched on that a little bit in my What Makes a Generational Show video, if you want to look at that. A lot of people innately look for relatability in characters and themes, some look for escapism, and some look for motivation and hope to find in these characters, etc. But regardless, we offer up our time, our energy, our thoughts, and our just desires to this storyteller for them to create something something that can resonate with us in some way, shape, or form. A lot of us grow attachment to the story as a result of this. These characters got me to laugh when I was depressed. This plot got me to question this part of society. This world and this movie is so amazing that it inspired me to pursue this career and make X technology. And because that show was serving as the spark in so many people's lives, it causes people to form emotional attachments to these fictional worlds and characters. Now, as we know, anything we care about we have a vested interest in making sure that it, or they, or them, have the best possibility of succeeding or being happy. And that's especially the case for fictional stories. You see, the difference between writing a solution for your story and writing a solution for your audience is emotional payoff. Stories are just slices of a world, of a piece of time in a made up thing that someone conjured up in their head put it on paper or put it on screen and decided to display it to the masses. They don't inherently have a beginning, middle or end at all. They can be ever expansive like the universe or as small and short as the three little pigs. So given this, there's a lot that can go into making a finale in a universe that will continue to bring new stories and characters into the fold, not just by opening up plot holes and stories to be continued, but in a way that people go about actually creating a conclusion. Teen Titans has no ending. It's a story that, for the most part, can be told in almost any order with the season's episodes and beyond four or so arcs and some references in some episodes, there's no Teen Titans one-track timeline. So when the final episode aired and it didn't spell out any new adventures or disband the Titans or whatever, I didn't care. Not because I don't care about the show or the characters and not because I didn't know it was canceled or anything, but because the story of Teen Titans will never end. But there was still a conclusion to that part of their lives that I got to witness that not only let me know that the time for me to follow their journey was over, but that unlike the title of the last episode, things won't change in this world. These guys will keep defending Jump City till the end of time or for the foreseeable future, and there's nothing left for me to really see of that. And regardless of what people say, it's a satisfying ending for many, so much so that it is still positively talked about and theorized about and just talked on end 17 years after its initial air date. People grow attached to stories and throughout all the setup and build up of emotional ties and planting stories, there must be a payoff a stopping point to know that everything you've watched leads to a better future for these characters, even if you can't see it. To know that the journey of unfolding events you've been on so far has a result so impactful that anything else after that isn't really necessary for you to see, because with that ending, you have your payoff. You finally got closure from your investment into this story, and you can exit out the tab knowing that everything you've seen thus far matters and knowing that now it's all over. Appreciate y'all for watching this. Uh, <laughs> I know y'all like that effect that I did at the end. I have it written in the script. I had it planned out like you were watching the ending of the video. Uh, but in general, just thank you guys for watching these videos lately. And just in general, everything spanning back to when I was done with my junior year in high school, I truly appreciate this. Um, I just thank y'all for taking the time out y'all day to watch me ramble about different parts of media and fiction, excuse me, that I really care about. Um, I got the lapel mic. I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all can't see it. I'm looking at myself in the recording. Y'all can't see it. But some changes will be happening in the future of this channel. Um, and I'm starting to get the ball rolling now. I want this channel to be bigger than what it is, not just numbers wise, but like my vision for it. I don't view the steps I'm gonna take as an evolution necessarily, but there is a style that I'm striving for that I've been inspired by other creators to do and take part in that uh, I'll be 
adjusting into different parts of this channel as well. Um, at this time, at the time of this release, seeing I should have I, I should be streaming more regularly. So hopefully you guys are liking those. Um, and hopefully you guys are liking the broader topics that I'm also talking about. I don't want to pigeonhole myself into certain communities or, or talking about certain things that I don't necessarily like, not, not even necessarily don't want to talk about all the time, but like there isn't much that I can add on to Young Justice discussions. There's not much I could talk about with Teen Titans specifically compared to talking about things in general. So uh yeah i hope you guys like that change with the content there's definitely more to come i'm recording this in the middle of january this should be coming out like at the middle of february so hopefully you guys are liking what's in store um i just appreciate all of you once again thank you for watching uh i'll catch you guys later hope you have a good day and peace